One. It's a thinnish cut, but I'd expect Robertson to get it. But he's just overcut it. Here, Robertson, one. So, an opportunity for O'Sullivan. That's not a good one. Never ideal when a colour blocks a corner pocket. That can lead to something of a stalemate. Well, there's half a chance here for Robertson with the red into the green pocket. Shake of the head from O'Sullivan. It was there all the way. What terrific pot. Had there not Thank been room for it, it would have gone up onto the blue spot as the highest available. Well, 90. he's lost position. Twenty. A good recovery, though. Seventy-one. Seventy-two. Oh, terrific queuing again. He is one of the best long potters in the history of the game. Neil Robertson, seventy-two. A break of seventy-two from Neil Robertson after O'Sullivan had made a safety error. So the first frame goes to the Australian. He leads one nil. Quite a long way off that attempted red O'Sullivan. And worse for him, he left one, one for Robertson, who's straight back in. Yeah. Eight. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Thirty-three. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Neil Robertson had to work hard with that break of 72 in the opening frame. There were one or two pots that were certainly missable. Clinched the frame in one visit to punish O'Sullivan's safety mistake. I think he was looking for a little cannon there to open that cluster of three reds. 61. It's a very tight angle into this centre pocket. It looks potable, but from there it looks very, very difficult. But he's found it. 62. Once again, Gunborough straight cue action doing the trick for Robertson. 
So 67 left. This black is frame ball. And he's missed it. Well, that is a surprise. Having done the hard work for Robertson to miss that one and give Ronnie O'Sullivan a sniff. Nine. Looking to develop the red, which he's not done quite as he would have liked, but it's a little bit further off the cushion, which helps. Of course, O'Sullivan can switch to left-handed with ease, so he'll back himself to get that red. Looking to stun him behind it. He's undercooked that slightly, so he's going to need the rest. 24. Sullivan has been frozen out until this moment. Yeah, nicely cued. This would be some frame to steal. 25. 32. Thirty-three. So, can he get nicely on the final red? Oh, but he's missed the black, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Well, that's a big let-off for Neil Robertson. That would have stung had Sullivan been able to clear up there, and it would have given the six-times world champion the perfect platform in this final when it looked as though he was going 2-0 behind before Robertson missed frame ball black. But that black doesn't matter anymore because O'Sullivan now does need snookers. Four. Disappointment. Six. But relief for Robertson. It would have hurt to lose that frame. Nine. Thirteen. Here, Robertson, thirteen. And the frame. So Neil Robertson made a break of 62, missed frame ball black. O'Sullivan had the chance to steal, but then he missed the black, playing up for the final red. Two frames to nil. Last season, part of the Kazoo series. That tournament for the top eight on the one-year list. This one, of course, is for the top 32. Four. He's going to have to attend to that pack of reds pretty soon. This break is to be extended. Terrific shot, and to land so perfectly on the pink. So this is a good chance for him to 18. get his cue arm going. He had the opportunity in the previous frame, would have been disappointed to miss the black. When 19. All it takes is a moment of inspiration, and suddenly his best snooker 24. could start to flow. And that's 24. bad news for anyone, Robertson included. 32. 33. Yeah, good recovery from O'Sullivan. He's not going to lack for support, of course, today.
He's not thrilled with that one, though. And it looks like he's out of position. Try to continue the break with that awkward green. Somewhat hampered with his queuing, but it's not worked out. Now, what's the damage? Has he got away with it? Well, it was a thin cut. And he's missed it altogether. And this time he is going to be leaving Robertson a chance. Hey, Robertson. Not quite that thin. Thank you. One. Seven. Eight. O'Sullivan wondering how expensive his failed attempted cut on the red is going to be. 14 27 31 38 39 just four points between them with the black to come Forty-six. Neil Robertson, forty-six. Well, it's not the best safety from Robertson. This is a chance for O'Sullivan. One good pot, and O'Sullivan could have the frame. Well, O'Sullivan, he's been outplayed so far. Not the best again from O'Sullivan by any means. But Robertson doesn't take that chance. That's a surprise. Guys, guys. What? So. Ronnie O'Sullivan has a chance to get his first frame on the board. Eight. He needs 
up to the pink. Twelve. Well, that's not too bad a kiss. Well, Neil Robertson had a great opportunity to make it 3-0. He missed a red. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has taken advantage to finally get a foothold in this World Grand Prix final. An opportunity missed for Neil Robertson. He knows it. He now leads by two frames to one. as though he's given Robertson an early chance in this fourth frame. One. The very first ranking event that Robertson won was the old-style Grand Prix. Six. Seven. And he has this remarkable record of having won at least one tournament every calendar year since then. Fourteen. 50. Five Triple Crown titles. 23. 29. 30. No good. The shake of the head tells you. 37. 37. Push it. Thank you. Foul. Well, that's cool. Robertson, 37. Himself for a foul. Well, foul push shot. So, a disappointing end to proceedings all round there. Excuse me. Don't let them in during the frame. Thank you. Let's have another look. I don't know. I think I think the red moved. I think he just felt he sort of dragged the cue ball along rather than hit it cleanly. Yeah. Well, this is. Uh, Far from easy, but within his range. Ronnie was happy to leave that red, clearly, from the shot he played. And the fact that he didn't get all that close to it means he didn't leave that red on as he left anything else on. Oh, that's a good shot. That really is. He hit that one quite beautifully as well. So there are signs that he's Eight. hitting the ball better. Nine. Sixteen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Well, he's queuing over the red again here, which is completely unplanned. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Forty. Forty-one. Well, the next shot important, playing probably into an area because 
Hard to single out one of those three reds that he'd like to play on. And that's the area, exactly. Has to be a good shot, that. 48. That's why playing in an area is a good thing. The options. That was a surprise. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 48. Just when things were starting to happen for him. Well, that's it, isn't it? He was starting to look the best he's looked all afternoon until that miss. So, 15 points in it. One. This feels in the balance as well, where the balls are. Three. Seven. It's very possible to the middle, as long as you're right behind it. Eight. Well, it's queuing directly over the top of the yellow here. That was not Ten. part of the plan. This means it's a little more difficult than it could have been. Yeah, right, Made a difference. Ten. Of course, he missed the last red in the last frame, and it cost him. I don't know anyone at home thinking, well, how can you miss that? But it, he had to roll it. He's queuing over balls. They are missable shots. One. Well, if he gets out of this two-inch, what a result that is for Roddy O'Sullivan. He could have been 4 nil down, but as I say, the last red in each of the last two frames, Robertson's missed. It's a little different, isn't it, with the yellow to green to brown, Seven. green on the pink spot. Everything's different to how it normally would be. A terrible miss, though. Ronnie O'Sullivan, seven. Cute ball had to travel up and down to take the colours there. Didn't expect him to miss it, though. Up and down. Okay, a bit lucky with the nudge, but it was a very well thought out shot to hit the side of the yellow. Surprised he went for that, especially where the cue ball ended up. Half a chance, this cue ball certainly coming down towards where the green is. He pots it. Two. So he needs this brown, Three. and surely you've got to feel 2-2 is some result for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Not played at his best yet. Seven. Well, it's kind of weak. Mentioned one or two of Ronnie's frailties this week. The way that he's played, but we haven't really thought that well, Robertson would be edgy, and he has been. He could have, could have won all of them. Yeah, he's missed a couple of reds, he's missed the green there. 
I think most people would agree 18. he's played the better and snooker, the but all that matters Ronnie is the scoreline as they walk off for the mid-session break. They're all square. Fascinating start to the World Grand Prix final, and at the first interval, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Neil Robertson are level at 2-2. In the blink of an eye, frame at least partially transformed. OK, green and brown still pose a potential problem, but what a shot that was. Seven. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Seven. Now, those misses, as you say, that was a fabulous opening red, but it's those shots that have plagued him all week. It's weird because when he does miss these easy shots there's sort of resignation the look on his face expecting these bad shots truly now the frame is done and dusted actually places a different kind of pressure on Robertson in the sense that he knows the score eight yeah, you've really got to just keep concentrating on your own game. Nine. But you're know, playing someone like Ronnie O'Sullivan, when you know it, you just don't know what to expect. Now he potted that amazing long red and then misses the easy one. It's like, what's, you know, what's going to happen next? It kind of can put you on the back foot if you're not concentrating properly on your own game. 16. Neil Robertson, 16. And the frack. O'Sullivan remains seated after... Comfortably the lengthiest frame of the final so far. The man from Down Under is back on top. Robertson tried to become the tied sixth most successful player in ranking events ever, with 22 wins, joining a certain Judd Trump. Back to normal in this frame. This red stun off the left cushion for the black to see in pocket. Neil Robertson is in. Oh. You know, the way generally this tournament's gone, he's playing so much better than his opponents, so Eight. he'll be very disappointed with if he's not got a lead coming out this afternoon. Nine. Sixteen. Careless little positional shot there. Shouldn't have been bridging over this red. No problem. But he's got a red between the bunch and the black. At this point, he's really got to concentrate 20. as intensely as he can. Twenty-five. Well, I presume there's a plant. Yep, there it is. 32. Unmissable. Thirty three. Very careless cue ball. Looking at the cue ball going into the reds. Yeah, great shot. Great shot. Forty one. Forty-three. Forty-four. Oh. Fifty-one. Well, he didn't finish nicely on the black. He had a just off straight angle. You need to really nip it with a little touch of left hand side and he just didn't get the action. Let's end a break. 
He'll be very annoyed about that. Hey, Robertson. 51. I'm going to have to catch the jaws of the pocket. Well, in the end, it was a pretty comfortable shot. Five. Six. Thirteen. Fourteen. Well deserved round of applause there. Twenty-two. 28, 29, 36. He can't believe it didn't drop, to be honest. And the friend. <laughs> Neither can I. Thankfully for Robertson, it didn't matter. Quite the ashes, this. An Englishman gives you a glimmer of hope. Then an Australian retakes control. If O'Sullivan got back onto level terms, that would feel like his birthday. Uh, where's this red going? Oh, it's not in. Crowd desperate to see Ron O'Sullivan get into this match. You can see one red in the bunch there, available to this pocket as well. One. He wanted to be low in this red because he can bring other reds into Eight. play and pot in this. But getting nicely in the colour is not so easy when you're close to the cushion. Nine. Yeah, played that about as well as you could. That was a good shot. Again, he 16. Ronnie O'Sullivan's, it's his game, is controlling that cue ball. He's not doing it. That's a good pot. 17. The red that's just out of, from the bunch is available to the right corner. He can screw, pot the yellow, screw the cue ball down a straight line and give himself the choice of two reds, the one that's in the open or that one I mentioned. Put the cue ball into an area. It's not nice though. Right. Any of the two reds really. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, a nice angle on blue or pink here. Twenty. Again, that's a very Unlike Ronnie O'Sullivan type shot. 25. That Ronnie O'Sullivan. Twenty simply extraordinary. Yeah, it was a very subdued visit to the table, wasn't it? The whole break. There was no spark there at all. Which is worrying for Ronnie and his fans. One. I think he milked that a little. It was obvious that the cue hole was going wide of the middle. 
That's how wide the O'Sullivan miss was. Twelve. Neil Robertson. Do you know, it's on 12. the tip of my tongue to say all Neil Robertson's now has got to do is concentrate. And what does he do? Lacks a concentration and gift a chance to Ronnie Sullivan. Okay. Huge visit this is to the table. One. Three. Four. Eleven. Eighteen. Ninety. Just a little bit tricky here. Twenty six. Switching over the red. Twenty seven. Well. So again, following the pattern. Neil Robertson misses something. That you didn't expect. 35. The first session it was the red to the green pocket. 42. And the same pocket has happened again. 43. The more you see it, the more you are surprised. 49. 50. for better things the last frame of the session coming up after the break and it's gargantuan where's the red going over the pocket needs cover and he's got it not sure if the red that's closest to the cue ball goes to right corner not taking it on anyway no, that doesn't go some kind of containing safety shot cue ball is a little bit pacey I think he's left the red. One. Seven. Eight. It's a risk not worth taking at this point of this break. Twelve. Thirty. Let's have a look at the red to the left of the black spot. Whether that goes in the right corner. I think it does. Yeah, it's played for the red that I was talking about, but he's not got the angle to drop on the black, so for an angle in the blue here to be able to play on one of those. And that is 90. way short, I think. Yep. You'll be very disappointed with that one. Lots of topspin. Right. Foul. Mm, he's Robertson, left a free 19. ball as well. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. Free ball. And he will be frustrated in his chair, Neil Robertson, the way this final's going. I know he's leading. 
Green ball. Not by as much as he should have been. One of those three reds to be able to drop on the black. Five. What a result this would be for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Twelve. Thirteen. That's so unlike Ronnie O'Sullivan, it really is. That was bread and butter cannon to be on the red. 20. Disappointing end to that visit to the table. But when he managed to get oh, yeah, the black in, into play, he was going to go on and win the frame there. I think that view you've seen of Ronnie there, it was how hard he's trying. Just His game is just letting him down. Has the feel of the last frame decider, let alone the last frame of the afternoon. Oh! Well sorted out One. and well executed. Choice of those two reds near the right corner pocket. Not sure if we can just drop the first red in and. Stay in the black to left corner. Three. I think the cue ball will be avoiding the next red. Four. And that shot should pave the way for Neil Robertson to take this frame. I say should because there's been some unusual misses from both players. Look at the way the reds Eleven. are situated. It's hard to see where he can go wrong. Twelve. Robertson's missed 15 pots in this session. Sullivan has missed 13. 19. A decent percentage of those 15 pots have been 20. ones he'd be expected to get. Mm, that's not a good shot. Well short with the cue ball. 27. If he takes the red to the left corner, he can't avoid the red beside it. This is awkward now. Right. Didn't need to be. But he may be able to play with, still play with top spin. Can in the red next to the one he's potting and still end up in the black when well, he's playing with bottom. Hmm. So, being perfect, he's now got to solve a wee problem here. Blue, he shouldn't miss, but there's pressure on it now. He'll be happy to avoid the 33. yellow, but again, not pinpoint. Thirty-four. The black takes him thirty-four ahead. Forty-two. Here, yellow and one more red needed. Yeah, and a balance of play is the correct result, Neil. Robertson leading. I think Ronnie. 44. If you can look on some sort of the bright side, 5-3 is not out of this final at all. If you can find some form tonight. No positional ambition <laughs> whatsoever. 45. Forty-seven. 
Neil Robertson. 47. So there's just a slight ray of hope for O'Sullivan. 41 behind, 35 on, two snookers required. shot that was this is just talent and touch beautiful shot foul on your seven four Risk trying to hold that cue ball tight to the yellow, send the red back up and down. And behind the green. That's another fabulous snooker. And a slight drop of the shoulder, New Robertson, when he got to the table there. That's what a tough snooker this is to hit. Yeah, good hit. Good hit. Robertson's relief will be palpable. The job isn't done yet. Oh. Are we watching Selby here? Absolutely granite stuff from Ronnie O'Sullivan. This is such a hard hit, and well, if you miss it, the free ball comes into the equation. Big moment in this match. Foul. Ronnie O'Sullivan, four. Free ball. And the whole complexion of this frame, perhaps even the match, might be changing. Yeah, free shot, this black as well. Bounty in the blue. He won't be leaving the red if he misses it. One. We were talking about if Ronnie could possibly get a bit of inspiration from somewhere to find his best form or win in a frame like this. Could be the catalyst for that happening. Beautiful shot. Six. Seven. Oh, what a frame sleeper this has been at the end of the afternoon. Twelve. Fourteen. Gutted if he loses this frame. Seventeen. Twenty-one. This has been brilliant match play 26. from Ron O'Sullivan to steal this frame. He pops pink and black. 32.
finish it with her. To get to 2 2, that was smoke in mirrors. To get to 4 4 was one extraordinary act of escapology. Simply unbelievable. Going into tonight, 4 4, the second session, should be mouth watering.